Good morning, Caxton audience. It's Marietta Lombard, and again, again today we're talking to Pani Moodley, a Johannesburg-based education expert. And for the past few days, Pani has been advising us and parents on how they can help their, their school, their children um, attend to their schoolwork during the lockdown of COVID-19. Good morning, Pani. Uh, good morning, Marietta. Yes, as you mentioned. We are going to be talking about a discipline plan today. The aim should be making your children self-disciplined. Now, what is self-discipline? Self-discipline is basically where you realize what is right, what is wrong, and you drive your own self towards being disciplined. When do you do your tasks? How do you do it? How much time do you have? It also is linked to something called intrinsic reinforcement. When a child is motivated from the inside, they will do whatever they need to do to be successful. So my aim as an educator is to drive children towards being self-disciplined. Even a young child, if you explain to them how you want them to do something, they will only want to please you. So how do we go about doing that? First of all, come up with a list of expectations. What are your expectations of your child? Leave it to five expectations. Don't do too many expectations. Also have them posted somewhere. For example, do you expect them to get up early in the morning and start their schoolwork at eight o'clock? How much time would you like them to spend concentrating on that task? What do they do after they finish that task? Do you check over it? Do they send it off to the teacher? Um, the other thing so is to be positive. Don't use words like don't or avoid. Rather give them positive things that you want them to do because then it will drive them towards knowing exactly what they need to accomplish. Also, provide incentives earn at the end of their task. Now, my personal view on that is don't give in, in incentives for every task. Do it on a weekly basis. So in that way, they work towards something. Also, try not to include any monetary uh, incentives. You want them in the end to do something because they love it, not because they are getting a reward or an incentive at the end. Bonnie, you know, I'm pretty sure that after this, the conclusion of these top seven tips, you're going to have our parents so well informed and advised that we will be able to continue helping them with homework after the lockdown with much greater um, ease. Definitely. I think this lockdown is going to help us reflect and also reconsider our roles in our family. The line between what a parent does and what a child does is slowly becoming erased. Because sometimes, I know for my, in, my, in my education center, if I need some technological help, one of my students steps forward and shows me. So our roles are being reversed. So if we look at discipline and also reverse that, that really will help our children accomplish not only what they're doing during the lockdown, but they will also make sense and understand what they need to do in order to be successful. Because when they go to university, they have to be self-driven. They have to know how much time they're gonna to dedicate to studying. So why not start now? The younger, the better. And you know, with the little children, draw pictures, make it visual, make it fun. This is, discipline is, does not mean punishment. We must not confuse those two. Punishment comes only as a consequence for negative behavior. My approach is be positive. When you are positive, you won't need any reason to punish a child. So I hope this really helps parents. And uh, yes. And I'm very excited uh, to see how children will take this forward. I'm confident that with your great advice, discipline will much become a much greater uh, thing to accomplish in, in most families and households. 
Definitely. And you know what? Also included in your household, as you mentioned, discipline should, oh, no, it should not only be related to schoolwork. It should be related to chores. What do you expect them to do in their rooms? How do you expect them to manage themselves during the day? So, you know, this discipline plan, I would say, implement it in all areas of your life. Excellent. Pani, thank you so much. And again, you, your help will be of, your, or your advice will be of great help to most parents. Oh, thank you. I hope so. Thank and you, Marietta. Yes, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow we will be looking at the whole child and how we can address all the needs of a child. Excellent. Thank you, Pani. Thank you and goodbye.